let's talk a little bit about just in time communications. We touched on that a couple slides ago, but um, some of the things you might want to talk about and think about is how you use different methods in communicating with your employees. So text messaging and correspondence communication is really important. Text messaging in particular is great when communicating with employees for reminders about appointments or when paperwork is due. We live in an age where majority of our communication is done electronically. So as Charles mentioned, employees are likely to use self-service and get information through a variety of methods without having to need to pick up the phone. For correspondence communication, you can leverage written correspondence to provide things like decision statuses, compliance and legal information, setting expectations for deadlines and submission of evidence. Written communications are also a great way to provide employees information about other benefit programs. For example, your health and wellness benefits, EAP, legal services, child or senior care, gym memberships, voluntary benefits, critical illness or identity protection programs. Communications at really critical milestones of an event are even more important in making sure that employees understand where they are in the process and what their responsibilities are and what is the expected outcome. Another thing you can consider is educational materials. So during very specific life events, you can help engage employees with programs that are offered by you. For example, did you know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month? If yes, you've already ahead of the game, you've already gotten ahead of the game. Using that as an example, you can strategize internally by communicating with your employees using mental health awareness as a way to introduce your EAP programs. You can also hold short educational sessions, email materials or reminders, and find ways for in-person or online support groups. And these types of interactions can extend to um, things like new parent support groups, book clubs, hiking enthusiasts, or really anything within your organization that you wanna make sure you communicate uh, at very specific times of the year. 